morning, family in Christ. When I thank God, was it because he blessed me, took care of me, or I just feel inspired to do so? As the ninth of ten children in a single parent home, the parable of the Good Samaritan was manifested in the many neighbors and the many people who lived around us. I recall Luke 10, 29, when Christ was asked by a lawyer who was testing him, who is my neighbor? Well, when he declared, when Christ declared or answered, who does good and show mercy is your neighbor? I think of my Garden Street years, my Savan years, when there was mutual sharing when neighbors would share fruits, vegetables, things they cooked. It was always that giving and that sharing as well. We were on the receiving end a lot. And the neighbors themselves, when they had anything, they would share. Many of us as boys and girls growing up, sometimes we could go to our neighbor's house with one of their children when they are serving lunch or evening meal, we were able to partake with them. And when my mother saw her hand, when my friends come over, they were able to receive the same kindness that their family did for us. So yes, we received much. And again, it was inspired no less than by the neighborly feeling and by God's grace. I remember even in the donkey yard, Orville George was the elderly man, he was the patriarch, and at least twice a week, he would always be cooking something. And a lot of us would join the family in the donkey yard and wait for Papa to done cook. And it was always enough to share with everyone. And it was that blessing you just felt. You know, people just willing to give. And we thank God for the kinds of people that we grew up around. I remember even when I was expelled from college, I had wasted the scholarship, was not doing my work. I couldn't dare go home and tell my mother. But in them days, you had to find a way to make sure you get back into school. Well, I appealed and with the help of hundreds of people giving me a quarter and a dime by Santa Theater and Napolo Theater, I was able to raise my tuition for the next uh, semester. I made my appeal, I got into school, and I made sure that I did my due diligence. People who came to my aid and assistance. They gave of their time, they gave of their talent. I was on the receiving end, and I was so grateful for what they did. And every day I would thank God for them and what they were able to do for me. And again, growing up in Polyborg, we had an age grade system. You had the little boys, you had the middle boys, you had the big boys. And a lot of us strive to become big boys, but we know we had to go through the age grade. And the one thing we had to learn, even though a lot of them big boys were good, miserable, they made sure that we learned to respect our elders, that we had to make sure we respect them and the boys older than us. And that's how we grew up. They looked out for us. And we thank God for that kind of, um, of, of, of what you would call protection, the coaching, the mentoring, all of that giving to me and to a lot of people like me really told me that it was not just people doing what they knew they ought to, but they did it because in a, in a very simple way, God was in their lives. Because most of these people, they were Christian. They didn't call on the name of the Lord every moment and every day, Lord, Lord, Lord. But what they did let you know that they were God-fearing and God-inspiring people. And that is why Polly Berg was so important in my life. 
And as I graduated from college, earning a living became very important. I had intended to go to teach, but Joel Reimer at the time, who ran the community action agency, she called me up and uh, asked me if I would like a job. And I told her yes, and it was $200 more than if I had went into teaching. I was able to work with what was the youth development program, became its director, and we were able to galvanize young people in numerous communities and help them to fulfill a major goal that they wanted to achieve. For most of them, it was building a youth center in their community. We did that in Berg's home. We did that over in Tutu Valley, what later became the William Willie George Center. And we did it in Bovoni through a group called the Bovoni Youth Action Movement. And that center you see that was inspired by the young people of that community. Well, after my time there, I went to work with the Law Enforcement Planning Commission as a juvenile justice specialist. And with the work that I put in there to help others who had wonderful ideas about establishing youth programs, juvenile delinquency prevention programs. It was certainly a joy watching the innovative and creative ways that people in the community were able to come up with programs and through Law Enforcement Planning Commission, we were able to give them the funds and they were able to help a lot of our young people in the community. We were able to help like the police department in establishing a police legal unit so that when matters had to go to court, before it went to court, they were able to help the officers understand uh, the, the, the legal responsibilities uh, when, so that when they go into court, they can present themselves professionally. I went on to work for the legislature, and from there, I went into teaching, where my salary was 50% less. Earning a living was difficult then. But friends like Lama Carlo, who encouraged me to continue making my mabi, he was able to help us make hundreds of dollars monthly so that we could make our ends meet at home. And it is that kind of giving to us is what helped me to recognize that very often when you ask God for things, it comes in the most interesting ways. And sometimes when you think that you are not asking and you see things unfolding before you that is making yourself a little bit more successful and you say, thank the Lord. Uh, and sometimes you just thank the people and forget to thank God Almighty. But it is so important that we keep on thanking God and feel inspired to continue to thank him. Well, I eventually went on to work with the Department of Labor. And from there, I went to work with the Territorial Court, where I was an administrator over the Rising Stars Youth Orchestra. And through that program, I was able to travel halfway around the world to Taiwan and to Japan. And just George Vernon has given me that opportunity. You know how much I thanked him and how much more I thank God. It is amazing. And you know, you can thank God in your giving. When Larry Boschelta offered me coconuts to give to senior citizens, that was a fantastic way of showing one's love for the community. So it is not just about what you receive, but what you can give as well. And my teaching the cultural arts, that is my way of giving back to the community. I do performances, many of them for free, but I do make sure though, where the opportunity presents itself, that I be compensated for my presentations as well. I do care giving in a lot of unique ways. I run errands for people. I am also a community activist. The things I don't agree with, I make sure that I speak out boldly against it. I give, and as such, 
the God Almighty continue to give to me. So I urge you, be blessed. When you share your gifts this Thanksgiving season, don't be like so many. They wait until Thanksgiving Day and they give their great aunt, their old cousin, their grandparents, 10, 12 plates of food, half of it end up spoiling. And they never go back to give them anything for the rest of the year. Give often to the people you love. Give often to the people you don't even know. And you are giving to God. You know, Acts 20, 35 tells us to, that you are more blessed when you give. You know, and you have 2 Corinthians 9, 7. God loves a cheerful giver. Give with pride. Give with joy. Give that shows you are giving thanks to God as well, that you are following his example. Remember, he gave the biggest gift of all, his only begotten son. God took care of me, yes, in my youth. In my adult years, he continues to take care of me. He also continues to bless me. He also continues to inspire me to keep on giving. So this season, thank God as you thank others who do good for you.